Welcome to TTVFutures.com. It's Wednesday, December 12th. I'm Remy Hickey for your Commodities Recap. NYMEX crude oil futures rallied in today's session, gaining almost 5% on the day. Futures prices closed above $94 a barrel after an intraday high of $94.85 a barrel. Earlier today, the EIA reported that U.S. crude inventories fell for the fourth straight week, down 700,000 barrels for the week ended December 7th. The API said U.S. crude inventories rose by 1.4 million barrels. At the end of the NYMEX session, January crude surged $4.37, closing at $94.39. Elsewhere on the NYMEX, January rose to $12.2.41.28 a gallon. January heating oil gain to close at $2.6432 a gallon. Meanwhile, January Nat Gas Futures advanced 32.3 cents, closing at $2.00. Both the EIA and API will release Nat Gas inventory data tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. Eastern. Over in the metals complex, gold futures ended with a slight gain, with February gold up at 818.80 an ounce. This afternoon, we're joined by Derek Fry from ONA Futures and Options. He'll recap today's session and also give us his short-term outlook. Okay, recapping the action that we saw in the metals and energy sectors. I'll start with energy since there seems to be a, almost fireworks going off in that pit today. Uh, we saw a huge uh, 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 the uh, API report this morning. Um, obviously, the report was a bullish report. Uh, you know, we were approaching $95 here. I mentioned earlier in the week in, in, in prior interviews as well as in my news I believe that support between 85 and 88 was going to hold on the price of crude oil. We were buyers at, uh, at levels below 88. Our initial tar- target was, uh, or, well, yeah, it was a push to about 95 where we are now. We've actually have started scaling out of some of our positions uh, just in the last uh, half an hour here on, on the close and in the electronic session. Um, so uh, we continue to see more upside. It's, uh, we're not exiting We're necessarily because we think this run is over. We're just t- taking some profits off the table at this time. Frankly, I see $100 being tested at least. Uh, I mean, at the very least, the old highs being tested but I do expect to exceed them before this current rally is over with and I do think that this is going to be the uh, the magic time when we hit, hit that mythical $100 level. Now keep in mind folks that $100 is frankly insignificant and outside of it being psychologically important but in, as far as the economy and the economics of, of crude oil and the economy are concerned, the difference between $95 and $100 on the price of crude oil is completely insignificant. Uh, so it really is just a uh, you know a, a psychological thing and a, and a media-based uh, excitement around that number. But as traders, whether we do or don't, or don't hit $100, it doesn't change anything uh, for us. So just just keep that in mind um, when you're watching all these reports. Um, Natural gas remains a strong buy uh, for us as well. We continue to accumulate a longer-term long position uh, that we'll hold through the rest of the year and to begin exiting sometime uh, in January, uh, late January probably. Uh, um, moving over to the metals, uh, we did see uh, gold. We, uh, I'm sorry, we really didn't see a lot of action in gold, um, and we saw, frankly, very little action in silver, for that matter. Um, overall, in the last 24 hours, uh, partially to some of the uh, interve- interventions into the capital markets that uh, the U.S. government and some of the other central banks did last night, we have seen the dollar kind of weaken a little bit on the backs of that, uh, because essentially... If you want to interpret what's happened in a very simplistic way, you can basically just say between the quarter of a point that the Fed lowered rates yesterday and the intervention that they did last night, put those two things together, and it's almost as if they, in fact, cut by half a point. 
point. At least that's how the market's reacting now, finally. So, so um, that's obviously taken some of the bid out of the dollar. Why we're um, and one of that was Derek Fry, head trader at ONF Futures and Options with his commodities commentary. I'm Remy Hoki. Join us later for PM Exchange right here on ATVFutures.com.